This is podcast part one for chapter two of health and wellness. In the past, most individuals and societies viewed good health or wellness as the opposite or absence of disease. We now understand that some conditions of health lie between disease and good health. We view health from a broad perspective. As a nurse, you will use concepts of health, health promotion, wellness, and illness to help your patients achieve and maintain an optimal level of health. You will use models of health and illness to understand and explain these concepts. In addition, you will help patients make changes to their current state of health to bring about improved health and wellness. The objectives of this lesson are to identify health and illness models and influence on nursing care, discuss variables and risk factors that influence health and illness behaviors, explain the three levels of prevention, primary, secondary, and tertiary, identify healthy people resources to support health and wellness promotion, to outline the nurse's role in health promotion and illness prevention, and at clinical to develop appropriate health promotion teaching plans and identify six levels of healthcare services and nursing role in each. Defining health is difficult because each person has his or her own personal concept of health. It's influenced by age groups, gender, race, and culture. Health is a state of being that people define in relation to their own values, personality, and lifestyle. The World Health Organization defines health as a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Nurses consider the total person, as well as the person's environment, to individualize nursing care and help patients identify and reach their health goals. A model is a theoretical way of understanding a concept or an idea, such as health or illness. You use models to help you understand relationship between health and illness and your patient's attitude toward health and health practices. Health beliefs are a person's ideas, convictions, and attitudes about health and illness and influences health practices. The health belief model has three components. The patient's perception of susceptibility to an illness, the patient's perception of the seriousness of the illness, and the likelihood that the patient will take preventive action. The health belief model helps you understand factors influencing patients' perceptions, beliefs, and behavior, and to plan care that will most effectively help patients maintain or restore health and prevent illness. The health promotion model is a framework for integrating the perspectives of nursing and behavioral science and the factors that influence health. This model focuses on three areas, the individual characteristics and experiences, behavior-specific cognition and affect, and behavioral outcomes. The basic human needs model helps you understand the needs of patients and families, their behaviors, and their readiness to take part in health promotion activities. Basic human needs are the elements necessary for survival and health, are greater or lesser for different people, a thorough and individualized assessment of needs is an important aspect of patient care. One way to understand an individual's motivation to achieve optimal health is to review Abraham Mas Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The holistic model, as proposed by Mandel, is also known as complementary or alternative medicine. It is based on a comprehensive view of the person as a biopsychosocial and spiritual being. Holistic health models of nursing promote optimal health by incorporating active participation of patients in improving their health state. Types of therapy that might be included in holistic model might include using music, reminiscing and storytelling, relaxation exercises, therapeutic touch, and guided imagery. Since the 1970s, there has been a nationally focused initiative toward better health for the American people. The Healthy People documents provide evidence-based objectives to achieve increased quality and years of healthy life and eliminate health disparities. 
These objectives are updated every 10 years to meet a wide range of health needs, encourage collaboration in communities, help individuals make informed health decisions, and measure the impact of prevention activities. There are currently four documents with national goals for improving the physical health of Americans. Healthy People, the Surgeon General's Report on Health Promotion and Disease Prevention. Healthy People 2000, National Health Promotion and Disease Preve Prevention Objectives. Healthy People 2010, Understanding and Improving Health. And Healthy People 2020. The most recent of these documents, Healthy People 2020, includes 600 objectives covering 42 topics. It provides direction for healthcare efforts on an individual, community, and national level. The document comprises four areas. One, attaining high quality, longer lives. Two, achieving health equality. Three, creating social and physical environments that promote good health and four, promoting the quality of life across all life states and stages. The goal to achieve or make improvements for each objective by the year 2020. And you can start to think about your role as a nurse in achieving those goals. And when the year, the Healthy People 2030 comes out, you'll have goals and objectives to obtain from that document. Socioeconomic factors can greatly influence a person's ability to make hard decisions. If I am healthy, I need to buy food, pay bills, or buy clothes for the children. The environment affects a person's ability to make decisions. A person's concept of illness depends on the person's developmental stage. A two-year-old looks at having a cold or an ear infection as a super tragedy, whereas a 50-year-old looks at it differently. A person's beliefs about health are partially shaped by knowledge, education, and past experiences. A person's degree of anxiety or stress definitely influences their health beliefs and definitely impacts their practices. Spirituality is reflected in how a person lives his or her life and includes values, beliefs, personal relationships, and the ability to find hope and meaning in life. Spiritual health often provides motivation during times of change in health. Family practices can be passed down in both positive and negative forms. If as a child you had immunizations, well child checkups, and regular dental and eye examinations, chances are you will continue to do so in your adult years. Opposite, if you did not do those things as a child, you will be less likely to complete those things for your children. And you can start to think about what internal and external variables might influence your own health and healthcare beliefs. We know from experience that culture influences beliefs, values, and customs, and we need to be aware that diverse cultures have different ideas about health and we need to plan our care accordingly if we expect our patients to be compliant. So we know that health beliefs are a person's ideas and attitudes about health. These beliefs often directly influence health practices whether there is evidence to support them or not. Health practices are those activities that individuals perform to care for themselves. Many variables influence patients' health beliefs, health practices, and self-care. Understanding the effects of these variables allows you to plan and deliver individualized nursing care. Start to think about variables that influence your own health beliefs and practices. And what hurdles do you think need to be overcome for people to adopt more healthy lifestyles? And what could you do as a nurse to encourage behavior changes?